Do 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 do. Hi, John. Hi. Hey, John. Do you think the bus will come on time? Um, I'm not sure. It probably will come on time. Do you think it will come on time? Well, I don't know. Sometimes it does come on time, and sometimes it doesn't. But I don't think it will be very late. Well, I wonder when it will come. I'm not sure. It will probably come in five minutes. I'm sure it will come quicker than five minutes. The bus is supposed to be here in two minutes. Well, then maybe it will probably come in two minutes. Oh, I don't know. Oh, do 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 do. Okay, what you heard was a conversation using will. Will is a future verb form that we use when we want to talk about the future, but not an arranged plan. It's used when we want to talk about <coughs> predictions. We use will when we are predicting the future. We use will when we predict a future happening or si situation. We do not use will when we talk about a plan that has already been arranged or that we have already decided to do. Then we use present continuous. But let's look at some examples of how we use will. Hmm. The bus will pass this corner soon. It's a prediction about the future. Let's look at some of the words that we use when we use will. For example, we use probably. Let's look at the example. Ah, Sarah will probably pass her exam. This is a prediction about Sarah's future. We're not sure, it's not a plan, and it's not an arrangement, but we are predicting that she might pass her exam. Let's look at another example of what words we use with will. We use I'm sure. So we use, don't worry about the, the exam, I'm sure she will pass. We can also use the contraction by putting she'll pass. With the apostrophe, it makes the contraction. Let's look at another example of a word that we use with will. I think. We use think with will. Um, do you think the bus will come soon? I hope so. Or do you think Sarah will pass her exams? Let's look at another example. We use it with don't think also. I don't think I will pass my exams because I didn't study. So in this instance, we're making a, predi a prediction, a negative prediction. Then wonder, we also use will with the word wonder. It means when we are thinking about something. For example, I wonder what will happen next weekend. 
it's a way of questioning and making a prediction. When we use the verb hope, we use the present simple, not will. So, we've been studying will. We use will to make future predictions. We use will with these verbs. Wonder, don't think, think. Sure, and probably. We use will to talk about predictions in the future. I hope this video has helped you to understand the uses of will for predictions in the future. Please feel free to comment on the video and keep studying English. If you have any more questions, I encourage you to watch the rest of the intermediate series of videos about future grammar, such as going to, present continuous, and will for decisions made in the moment. Good luck with your English.